I'm Sarah with 80s Music, and today we are going to be discussing oiling rotors. This will include French horns, trigger trombones, and rotary tubas. So what most of you will run into is a rotor horn that has sat up for so long that the rotors are frozen. So what I like to do before I oil is try to free them up. I, the first thing I try to do is use my hands before I use any tools, because usually you just need some pressure and you don't want to risk marring anything up. So I'm just going to take my hand, put it down, try to avoid hitting the rotor arm as much as possible, grab and just kind of wiggle, 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 and put more pressure until it moves. If that doesn't work and you're not able to use your hands, I like to use some little duckbill pliers. They don't have any teeth. They're flat, flat, so they'll reduce marring. And at that point, you'll just kind of grab wherever you can get some leverage, usually right along there where it's a little bit flat. And that's when you'll grab and try to do the same thing and eventually get it to move. If you have moved on to using pliers and you feel like you're using too much pressure and it's still not moving, that's the time to stop what you're doing. Put the tools down, bring it to your closest repair shop and let them take care of it. So there's a few different ways to do this. I'm going to show you the way that I like to do it and then you can do any kind of version of that. So I like to take a key and rotor oil, specifically one with the little pin drop, if you can see it. And I like to put a few drops right there it, where the top of the rotor connects to the rotor stem. Flip it over, take off the cap. We'll apply oil to the center of the bearing plate where the rotor stem moves, and then you can apply a thin line of oil around the bearing plate that will soak in and hit the top of that rotor as it moves. Another thing I like to do is to take out the slide, take some lighter oil like valve oil, and just put a few drops down in the slide, press down to where it coats, replace your slide, and you're done. Moving on to restringing rotors, I'm going to walk you through that process. There are two different types of strings that we use here. We use black and yellow. Black is thinner and it's typically used on your Cons, Holtons, etc. Yellow is used pretty much only on Yamaha. For the purpose of the demonstration, I will be using yellow just so you can see how it's done. It shows up a little bit brighter. So the first thing you're going to want to do is cut a piece about 12 inches. This is just to ensure that if you make any mistakes, if your thread gets frayed and you have to cut some, you have plenty of extra. You're not going to run out. So I like to take a pair of sharp scissors, cut at an angle. That way it gives you a sharp point, just kind of makes it easier to thread through. So I'll look at it and kind of determine which one's sharper, which is this. On the other end, just tie a little simple knot. All right, so we're gonna take that sharp edge and thread it through our hole there. Take your string and pull your rotor arm up. You're gonna go in between right there and loop it back over to where your tail end is on the bottom because if it's, we want it on bottom so it can't pop back out, it has a little bit of resistance there. All right, so we're gonna go underneath our first string that went around this screw. Every loop we do will go under just to where it always has that resistance where it can't pop over something. There's always that other string holding it down. So we're gonna do the same thing here after we thread through. Loop and go down. Pull tight, and as you're pulling, tighten this screw down. So since we have some space with this screw, and we use this loop on both the stop arm retaining screw and the lever screw, we're going to walk through it. So you're going to pinch the string with your left hand. You're going to put your string, your tail end, on the right side, and bring that loop over, and then pull tight. So after that, you'll just take your scissors again. Trim off that excess, always leaving a bit to where if you have to lower anything, you still have string to go. After we've restrung this one, you can see that it's a little bit 
lower than the rest of them which for that third sometimes people like but you want to be careful that it's not going to hit this tubing which I pressed in a little bit it does so that's definitely too low while holding on to that paddle we're going to loosen that screw and gently pull the paddle down to where you want it to be hold on to the paddle as you re-tighten the screw and then we're back to level one more thing to remember if you ever need to take all of your slides out for any reason i recommend taking a picture first that way you know that you're putting them back in the correct order you don't get your first and third slides confused or your b flat and f slides if at any point you get uncomfortable or something is not coming out the way it's supposed to be it a slide or a rotor please stop what you're doing and take your horn to the nearest shop we any technician would much rather fix a small issue like a frozen rotor or a frozen slide than something larger caused by you trying to take it upon yourself if you have any questions or if there's anything we can do to assist you please feel free to reach out hopefully you found this video helpful